All right guys, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about a very interesting technique for relaxing. Um, this is specifically for when, you, when you're trying to fall asleep, okay? So when you're, you're laying there, you're trying to you know, go to sleep as quickly as possible, but what happens is you get distracted, you know, maybe you're like thinking about all the things you've done that day. Um, it can be hard to fall asleep, especially if you're, you've got an overactive imagination, which uh, I think a lot of you do. The people that watch these videos, you tend to be the type of people, a bit like me, where you have like an overactive imagination, you're laying there, you can't always fall asleep instantly. So this is a very interesting technique for you. It's called the reversed blinking technique. So normally, right, say 95% of the time our eyes are open, we're looking around, and then maybe 5% of the time we blink. And when we blink, it happens for like a split second, uh, and then we go back to having our eyes open. So what you're gonna do is as you're laying there, right, so, and this can be done when you're trying to fall asleep, it can be done if you wake up in the early hours of the morning, it can be done any time, really. So you lay there, and you close your eyes, okay, and every now and then you quickly flash them open, just for a split second as if you were blinking. You flash your eyes open, and then close them again. And when you close them again, what you're gonna do is you're gonna try and remember as many details about the room as you can. So this obviously works better when the light's either on or you know when there's some sort of light source in the room which enables you to see things. So it won't work in pitch black, obviously, because you'll open your eyes and you won't be able to see anything. So it, ideally, you'd have some sort of mood lighting, like I've got a salt lamp in the background there, something like that, something that's going to give like a soft glow to the room so you can still see things, but you it's not completely pitch black. All you do is you just quickly flash your eyes open, close them, and then try and just pick out details, like remember little things. And what this will actually do, it lets you it lets you relax a lot faster. I don't know how or why it works, but it does tend to make you fall asleep because you're focusing on that instead of you know all the thoughts that are going through your head. You're not focusing on like what you've done that day, the, the memories, the uh, internal dialogue that is pretty much immutable for most of us unless you meditate. You, it enables you to ignore that and to sort of focus just on what you can remember from the room. Sounds pretty simple um, and you know, it's not a super advanced technique, but that is something you can do which will very quickly help you fall asleep faster. And that's it's also something that you can do alongside any other technique. Like you can do that at any time. Anytime you're trying to fall asleep or you know you find you can't relax deeply or quickly enough, just do that, do the reverse blinking technique and you'll find yourself falling asleep very quickly. So that's that's one thing. Another thing which is, this is sort of related to this, so I'm not gonna make two videos just you know to talk about specific things. They're, they're very closely related. So another thing you can do, let's say you're laying there, right, and you, it's, you're finding it hard to fall asleep, you're just, you're in insomniac or you know, you just can't seem to fall asleep. What a lot of people do is they try, they force themselves to keep their eyes closed and to sort of go through the motions, which can work eventually, but it's most of the time it doesn't, does it? You know, most of the time, if you if you try and force your eyes closed and try and force yourself to sleep, it you end up staying awake for hours longer than you wanted to, and then you look at the time, and then you're like, oh no, it's 4 a.m. I'm trying to get to sleep. So it doesn't really work all the time. What you can do though, if you just go the other way. Right, so normally you try and force your eyes closed. Just just have your eyes open. Just literally lay there, like lay there in the dark with your eyes open and don't have any thoughts of, I need to go to sleep now or you know, I should close my eyes to fall asleep. Just keep your eyes open until they naturally close. Um, you'll find it a lot easier. You'll find it a lot easier to fall asleep and you, you might end up falling asleep faster doing that than if you tried to force your eyes closed. So, those two things, I guess, um, fairly effective, right? If, if you're finding it hard to fall asleep, those things are fairly effective to try. Um, what you can also do, I've been experimenting with some uh, some melatonin spray, which you can you can get in little vials, right? And you just spray it, and it's like mint flavor or something. You spray it and it gives you a dose of melatonin, which if you're like a shift worker or something, or if you don't have a natural sleep cycle, meaning if you don't, if you're not synchronized with like when the sun rises and uh, and sets, melatonin spray is quite a useful thing to have because it enables you to like, Con almost control the process of when you feel sleepy. If you spray a couple of, uh, you know, sprays of melatonin spray, you're gonna feel sleepy within half an hour. You know, most of the time, most of the time even sooner, 15 minutes, as soon as it crosses the blood-brain barrier, you're gonna feel pretty tired. So if you're interested in that, it's like sleep spray, um, melatonin sleep spray, I've got a link to that in the description. If not, just type in melatonin sleep spray. 
I'm sure there will be many of them on Amazon, things like that. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. If, you, if you're interested in just like how to start lucid dreaming, I do have a very effective uh, lucid dreaming bootcamp course, which I'm sure you've heard me go on about before, but for those of you who don't know, it's, it tells you exactly what to do every single day for 30 days. If you follow the steps, they take about three to eight minutes a day, sometimes less. So it's not very time intensive, but if you follow the steps, you'll lucid dream, I guarantee, within a couple of weeks, probably sooner. Um, and it does it does come with that guarantee, so it's quite useful. Links to that are in the description, and I'll see you in the next video.